first Grand Science Slam final, because this today is the final after many rounds um, and events that have taken place throughout Turkey. And you can see all the cities here displayed on these uh, uh, files. Very proud that the German Embassy was able to pioneer this very idea of a Grand Science Slam. Now, where does it come from, this Science Slam? It has a big brother, which is the poetry slam, of which you might have heard. The science slam only started in Germany in 2006, and since then um, has produced many, many entertaining uh, contributions from around the world, indeed. So we started this in Turkey in 2014, two years ago, but only in Ankara that time. This time uh, it is a Grand Slam. That means that several cities and universities uh, were part of this exercise. Now, as you have seen in the trailer, uh, these science slams are not serious business. Uh, their intention is to present scientific uh, projects, scientific basics, scientific ideas in an entertaining fashion. So, this is uh, the panel. Those are the winners of the individual um, uh, science slams in various six Turkish cities. And now we need to find out who is the winner of the Grand Slam tonight. Thank you very much. Let's move on. So, we have the results. The winner of the first Grand Science, uh, Grand Turkey Science Slam. Please, Mr. Ambassador, come to here. Let's give the prize to Sanjay Girala. And, and dear guests, thank you very much. We're from Izmir, we're from Yashar University. And of course, we have the uh, princess of Iconia, <laughs> Ionia Denison. Okay, we're gonna talk about time. We wanted to choose something that is familiar to everybody. Everybody understands time, but yet when you look at it scientifically, how many of you can actually define time? It is very difficult to define time, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, Why is that? I don't know, maybe it may be intertwined with so many phenomena. Like in physics, time is a fundamental unit, and also some people say that time is what prevents things that happen at the same time, and also uh, time's a coordinate. Well, Descartes said there are coordinates. Descartes is a philosopher. He wants to understand the essence of things. If you want to know the essence of something, you may say that, well, its location is a part of its essence. So if I know the XYZ coordinates, there's my XYZ coordinates. You go there, you'll find me, right? No, obviously you are here now. You cannot be over there. So, X, Y, Z is not good enough. You also need to know the time. That's why we have three coordinates and a fourth one, which is time. People talk about space-time. That's where it comes from. Yes, that is right. 
But there's something very peculiar about this coordinate. Because in the XYZ coordinate, I can go back and forth. I go left and right, cha-cha-cha, up and down. But in time, I only go forward. I'm getting older and older. My hair's getting wider and wider. I can't stop. I can't go back. I can't go sideways. Yes, in time, there's no possible way to go backwards. We all know that. There's an instructing sense of feel that we cannot go back in time. So that is the arrow of time. Yeah. Yes, that's right, the arrow of time. And why do we have that arrow of time? I don't know, why do we have that? Why do we have that arrow of time? Well, certain things look the same backward and forward, but certain things look just they go forward. Isn't that right? Yeah, I think so. You could do an experiment. Yeah. Let's say if I toss a cup of water, it splitters all, all over the pavement. We're all familiar with this thing, right? But uh, the water on the ground comes back, flies back into the cup. We all know that this is not going to happen. It's not possible. This is trickery. This, this is sacrilege. This, this does not happen. Yeah. You can try it. We can try it now. Try that water down here. Okay. She is a, do, wizard. Do you, She's a wizard and a witch, and be careful. She, do you think it's gonna work? Yes. Toss, well, no, you... No, the... Okay, look, but forward it works, right? Forward it actually works. If I toss some water here, and if no. I go... If I... Don't do it, please. Have it mercy. does work forward. No, have mercy. <laughs> you think I was gonna do it. We never heard that. Okay, now, but certain things, do look the same backward and forward. Like I mentioned cha cha cha, that doesn't look forward and backward the same. What looks good yeah. the same way backward and forward? So the arrow of time doesn't apply everywhere, only certain places. Is that right? Yeah, maybe. For you example. Should, yeah, you should give an example of that. How about a pendulum? Okay, pendulum sounds good. How about sound? That's... Well, there's a pendulum first. Okay. Uh, that's me in the background, by the way. Now, the pendulum looks the same going backward and forward. One of them is going backward and one of them is going forward. Which one do you think is going backward and which one is going forward? If you thought this one's going forward, that's wrong because the guy's walking backwards, you see. It is so elusive. It could be backwards or forward. Well, we said sound. Sound is the same any way you see it, right? It's, uh, yeah. No, it's not possible. If I say whoop, whoop, and the backwards of that would be? Would be Ooh, Ooh, yeah. It's not the same. That is true. Yeah. So sound backwards and forwards is different. There is an arrow of time when it comes to sound. Sight? Sometimes yes, no. Yeah. Sound? What if I speak backwards? I have an app for that. There's an app for that? Yeah, let's, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's do the okay. thing. Okay. Ooh. You see? It's true. Let's try science slam. Wait a minute. Science slam. Mouse snails. <laughs> Let's try it again. Mouse snails. Science slam. Let's go with it. Sometimes forward, it's the same thing. Yeah. So why do you sight? It's sometimes backwards. So the arrow of time. Yeah. So we know when it's going forward. Why do you think that time is always going forward? Why is it always going forward? And how do we scientifically explain this? That certain things go only forward. I don't know. You tell us. You're the professor. Here's an experiment. <laughs> Here's an experiment. Here is a fish tank with two compartments. We have 10 fish on one side and no fish on the other side with a little hole 
which is blocked by His Excellency's head. <laughs> now, sometimes the fish, if you open the hole, fish go to left to right, to left to right. If you wait long enough, you'll see that half the fish are on one side, roughly half the fish are on the other side. It's a little bit like tossing a coin. If it's heads, you put it on the left. If it's tails, you put it on the right. About half of them will be heads and half of them will be on the right, tails. It is possible that all of the coins will land heads and all the fish will be on one side. There's no physics that says it can't be done. And also Boltzmann but it is, says that. Boltzmann said that I said that. No, Boltzmann but, says that. Okay, Boltzmann okay. says that. But <laughs> it can't be done. It's exceedingly improbable. It's, if it's heads and tails for 10 of them, all coming heads will be less than 1 in 1,000. So time could be reversed, except that it is against the nature of things. It's against the nature of randomness. So, time has something to do with coordinates. It has something yeah. to do with arrow of time. It has That's something right. to do with order and disorder, which is what Boltzmann which said. Which is entropy. Which is entropy. <laughs> and it has something to do with randomness. Now, there is a way that you could actually create order. And if you want to create order, you have to spend energy. Because things naturally, go from order to disorder. You can make these things in an ordered fashion, but as you can see, my lovely assistant is spending a lot of energy yeah, to do this, while as I can play order. just a little bit of it and I can, make, I can mess up that and energy. And now I need to spend some energy to create some so, order here. So if order has something to do with time, and time has, and order has something to do with energy, then you can say that energy also has something to do with time. But there is a catch. There is a catch, because if you look at that divider and open the divider just in the, at the right time, when the fish comes from the right to the left, and open it and let it go, and when the fish tries to go from the left to the right, close it, and not spend very much energy because the hole is very small, and if you work on it long enough, you can also create order with almost no energy, but the catch is, by using information, knowledge. So information has something to do with order disorder. Information has something to do with energy. Energy has something to do with time. Time has something to do with reversibility. And it's all intertwined, and you're right. So, we could go on and hit forever, but the timer says, unfortunately, we are out of time. time. Oh.